David? David! Oh, I'll tell you the song! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Dude, I'll tell you something, man. I'm so fucking tired right now. Why are you so tired, dog? Does she snore? <laughs> <laughs> no, she does not. I can't believe that tiny little head couldn't make any noise, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she literally just knocks the fuck out. But before you tell me about why you're tired, let me tell you a quick tangent. Tangent, she does this shit and she gets me Every time, like I have literally fallen for this a hundred percent of the time for you. I don't know how long she's been doing this, but so she'll do this. Like we'll be laying in bed and she'll go, but babe, you know, it's crazy. And I go, what? And then she goes to sleep. <laughs> she doesn't say shit. <laughs> or she'll be like, no, no, but that's funny. You know why? And I'm like, why? <laughs> and she just knocks the fuck out. First of all, that would fucking irritate the fuck out of me. <laughs> But, <laughs> I never question it, dude. Mariel does something that she knows that I fucking hate. Yeah, where it doesn't it doesn't matter what the subject is that she's going to talk about. Is you can't end a sentence like this. She'll go. She'll come into the room. She's just doing something. And you know, Mariel's all random. Yeah, and she'll be like, oh my god. So yeah, never mind. Oh, <laughs> and then she just and I'm like, hey, I don't like it when you do that. Yeah. Tell me. She goes, it's dumb. It's like it doesn't matter if it's dumb now. I need to know. She goes, I don't want to tell you because it's dumb. I'm like, I, you, you're fucking up my whole day, dude. Well, let me tell you this. Uh, in terms of, and, and don't forget, you're going to tell me why you're tired. Oh, yes. <laughs> in terms of, I feel like women, a lot of women do not need closure on things. Uh, they can just like f hear a bunch of shit, have it lead up to something like with Mario, like, oh, my God. And then be like, ah, never mind. Yeah. And they can just let it go. Uh uh, from my experience, most men need closure. We need to have that conversation, need to tie up some loose ends, right? Chia gives so few fucks <laughs> about you. everything, dog, that she'll do this. We watch Family Feud pretty regularly, all right? You watch Family Feud? Uh, I used to before it was Steve Harvey. Okay, you should watch with Steve Harvey. He's great. I know Steve Harvey's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. I just don't watch TV like that. Okay, anymore. so yeah. uh, you know, so you know, at the end, you know, you got to accumulate two hundred points to win the two hundred thousand to twenty thousand dollars, right? So, anyways, it'll be dog. It, the second person in the family will be going to play fast money, and I'm talking about it'll have like three questions left to answer. It'll be like, all right, you only need ten more points. Let's see if you get it. And she'll be like, all right, let's go to sleep. Turn the TV <laughs> off. No fucking way. I, and I'm like, w w what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> There's no fucking way. I don't care how tired I am. If that was just the last part that I got to finish, it's yes. like, and survey says. Yes. And she goes, boom. Yeah. She goes, she goes all right, well, beep. I'm like, huh? I'm like, babe, babe. Uh, babe. You're a serial killer. There's nobody in, on earth that does that. There's no fucking way. Let's take a bite of food. Okay. Because I know we're both hungry, and then you tell me why you're tired. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Today, in which we film, it's a National Burrito Day. Isn't, uh, can I tell you something? Huh? You were going, you were, you told me you were going to get a burrito, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get a burrito, and I didn't even know it was National Burrito Day. What the heck? I was going to get us this uh, corned beef hash and sauerkraut pastrami oh. burrito. Fucking fire. But then wow. you said you were going to get one, so I didn't get it. I, what? The Christ? Híjole de la chingada. You already got a burrito. I couldn't get another one. Sí, pero it's like you can never have too many burritos, you know? That's true. Um, and you brought us what? I brought us uh, seafood. You know, there's like a couple of, I don't, I don't remember what this place is called, but I just looked through stuff and it looked like a mom and pop's place. Clearly, you could tell by the dishes. Okay. But, you know, just a little All right, you garlic got butter salmon oh, pasta. Man. Well, that looks really good. And a little good. bit of Cajun garlic butter fish with grilled zucchini and <sighs> cilantro rice. Well, <sighs> I feel like I want to eat my burrito, but also like you got fish, so I feel like let's eat the fish first. Okay, I'll we'll down. save this for the second one. Okay. And look, you got the cute plates. Yeah. yeah. Did you know there's plates in the next room? What? <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking eating off the place mask like We're like barbarians. <laughs> we always cut the top in half and just split it. That's so ghetto. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the burritos down here. Hopefully they maintain there. Oh, let me get some of this Cajun fish first. 
Okay. Ooh, this is definitely overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'll have the burritos on standby. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so overcooked. I love it. <laughs> you could tell immediately when I cut into it, it felt like a brick. <laughs> but I don't know a lot of, like, mom-and-pop fish places that cook fish well. Okay. But they always taste good because they add hella sauce to it. Mm. And so. they always, yeah, and they always cook it well. That's yeah. why it's not good. Maybe it's because it's not fresh, but either way, I grew up eating, like, bullshit fish dishes like this. Mm. Like, all those mom and pop's fish and chip shops <laughs> that always had, like, overcooked fish. And But I like, do you like, did you grow up eating fish sticks? Yeah, I fucking love fish sticks. Oh, uh, dog, you're a gay fish. All right. Have you heard that joke? No, but it hurt me. <laughs> it's, 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 do you like fish sticks? And you're a gay fish. Fish sticks. sticks. Yeah. That's the god of fish, man. <laughs> There's this episode of South Park where... Someone tells Kanye that joke. They're like, Kanye, do you like fish sticks? He's like, of course I love fish sticks. They're like, well, you're a gay fish. And he's like, he doesn't understand. <laughs> and he's getting pissed. He's like, how can I be a gay fish? I'm a genius. <laughs> and he's like going off. He writes a whole song about how he's not a gay fish. Dude, I had a fucking memory that blasted me to another fucking university. <laughs> Please tell me how you got blasted, dog. And it's so appropriate for this. Do you, do, have you ever heard of a place where you would go to a pizza spot and then you would buy the pizza, but then you would bake it at home. Do you remember this chain? I, I wonder if they had one in LA. Oh, it's from the Ace Company, A Y C E. It's a no, company it's not, that you stupid idiot. <laughs> I hate that. Um, but. You cook it, you bake it at home. It's called Papa Murphy's Take and Bake. Never heard. Have of you it. never heard of it, mm -hmm. Robin Couch? Have you heard of this? I actually have, yeah. I've never done it myself, but I do remember this being a thing at one point. Yeah, so I'm talking to all these people. Nobody remembers it. I'm like, am I making shit up right now? I don't remember that at all. So Papa Murphy's was a, was a pizza joint. I'm not sure if they're still around. Not bad. The pasta. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papa Murphy's. So you would go there. They have pre-made pizzas, and you would buy it, and it would be like half the price of a pizza that would you would just get at another place. Hmm. So you would take it home and bake it fresh at home and they had instructions for it. Interesting. It was like the go-to like Korean church food. Really? Because when you have church gatherings and you want to save money because you know churches don't got money like that, yeah, yeah. small Korean churches anyways, mm -hmm. and it would be $8 for like a 20, 24 inch pizza. Hmm. 24, 32, like you know those gigantic ones mm -hmm. and you would bake that shit and it was pretty fucking good. <coughs> I just remember that shit, it blasts from the past. Yeah, no, never had that experience. The, I, I, and, I, and I looked it up on YouTube, and there's a guy who did a video, uh -huh. and he just starts with, this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. He goes, I came here to eat a fucking pizza, and these bitches won't cook it for me. And he's fucking mad. Got half a million views. And there's like a, just a line of old Korean, yeah. <laughs> Korean dudes. What is your program? I said, I love, did you cry? <laughs> did you cry? <laughs> Do you support with Jiju Cry? <laughs> so I always think of Jiju Cry when I think of Korean <laughs> church because me and Rick cr cracking up at the we're at Venice Beach one day. This is years ago, walking down Venice. And you know, Venice has all types of different characters, right? Mm -hmm. Fucking street performers and whatever, whatever. And there was like a little mini parade of old Koreans with signs, religious Koreans, and they were saying, I love Jiju Cry. <laughs> I love Jiju Cry. <laughs> Yo, there's these moments in Korean churches where, <laughs> like, I had a pastor, which I still to this day don't know why the church hired him. So there was a period where our youth pastors were kind of switching them, going to other countries or whatever, so we would hire new people. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a youth pastor that was hired for the English ministry that could barely speak English, mm. which was the dumbest fucking move ever. <laughs> but for us, it was entertaining as fuck right. because he's trying to do English sermons, but his, he can't speak English. Hilarious. So this fool, I will forever remember this because, <clears throat> first of all, his wife was Japanese and she didn't speak English or Korean. Oh, how cute. So I, they would just, and they had two kids. So they I'm would pretty, just like sign at each other? I think what? they would just fuck all day because <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't talk to each other. I was shook. <laughs> and so this fool... <laughs> Sounds like the ideal marriage to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, dude, because it's Japanese and you're hairy pussy. <laughs> so, so she, um, the first sermon that he ever did was on Easter, and that was the first day that he was going to do a sermon. And then he didn't know how to explain why, the importance of why Jesus was risen, mm -hmm. but he knew that we were young, so he tried to use a RoboCop reference. But he was trying... <laughs> He was trying to say Terminator because Terminator came back. Right. So he was like, you know, like uh, Jesus Christ is like, <laughs> it's like a Robocop. It's like, a, okay, I'm going to come back from a future. <laughs> 
dude, I fucking died laughing and I got kicked out because I couldn't stop laughing. That's great. Because first of all, it's just stupid in general. And he got the wrong reference. He mixed two things together, Robocop and Terminator. That's so funny. He's like, I'm a promo future. I'm a promo future. <laughs> I'm a promo future, Did dude. you cry, dog? <laughs> um, all right, before we forget. I love a ginger <laughs> I always, I don't, I can't believe I've never brought that up. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's uh, the best. All right. Why are you so tired? And Mariel snores. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> when Mariel's tired, and even when I'm tired, I tend to snore a lot. Yeah. If I sleep well, no snoring. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> I don't know how. Mariel has like the tiniest little nose I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how much how that little thing can make so much noise. But this girl has been snoring. I think was a, her work has been stressful lately because mm. there's just a lot of shit coming in right now. But does she ever, like, swing at you in her sleep? Chia fucking brick in her sleep. Doesn't even move. For real? Yeah. Knocks the fuck out. Oh, my God! The house is on fire! <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just it's not even move. Yeah. Does not move, does not... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you sent me this photo of Chia, and you're like... How the fuck does a human being sleep like this? She was sleeping like a dis. Yes, horse. Doc. I was oh. like, what Bruh, the fuck is this? One time, one time when uh, she had either, I forget, but she was so tired, bro. She, I, and I made a, like a reel out of this. She fell asleep on the couch. Her hand was like this, holding a glass of wine. Like her hand was hanging over like the, the side of the couch, holding a glass of wine. She makes no sense at all. <laughs> how, was she, how did she not drop it? I don't know, dog. I always fall asleep like watching my phone, and then the phone drops on the hardwood floor and it wakes me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my shit. Yeah. So Mariel's tiny nose has been snoring. She's been snoring, man. And look, I used to snore a lot too because I was really, really fat. Yeah. And I used to snore like a motherfucker. So mm-hmm. I feel like this is her getting back at me. But she's been, <laughs> she's been swinging at me like she moves. <laughs> she fucking kicked me in my dick like twice this week on purpose. I, you know what? <laughs> she said, "What? Huh? Huh?" And then she rolls over and. <laughs> 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 That's how she laughs, right? <laughs> she has been fucking. <laughs> she has been taking Japanese classes. <laughs> yeah, she's been fucking moving, man. And I know, like, there's a, an adjust. I wonder for people out there, like, when you guys first moved into, moved in with your significant other, how hard was that fucking adjustment? Because you're so used to sleeping by yourself. Because mm-hmm. for me, it was hard as shit. It was super difficult. So, I um, I've completely retrained myself how to sleep. Um, for Chia. Because like, I yeah, I'm normally a side sleeper, but I'm also on the, on the rarest occasion. Like sometimes I love just knocking out right on my back. Like I go mm-hmm. to sleep on my back. I fucking, I used to do this thing where I would just put the covers over my face. Sometimes even the pillow on my face, I knock the fuck out right. Mm. And um, but when I knock out on my back, I always snore. Like I yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. snore it up. So and I would just wake up to chia, be like just like <laughs> just put babe, and I have to like roll over on my side. So now I always always am on my side for chia. Unless I'm fucking drunk, and that's when she gets pissed. Like, she already hates when I'm drunk. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. She's like, she hates it, right? She gets so annoyed. But it's not only me being annoying when I'm drunk, but it's also when I'm sleep drunk, I fucking snore so loud. So it, I not only do I fuck up her night because I'm annoying, I fuck up her sleep. <laughs> oh, it's not just a snoring, Tim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. That's... That's what I'm next level, yeah, dog. You sound like a shipwrecked ghost. So, <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> I'm fucking, I sound just like the pipes on the yeah. Titanic. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That is the only time I've actually seen Chia angry at you. <laughs> and like, not even like annoyed, like fucking look at you like you're disgusting. Okay, so leave him on the floor. <laughs> That's what she said. She's like, just leave him on the floor. <laughs> So here's why I do that, okay? I realize when I'm super drunk like that, I feel my chest is heavy, okay? Mm. So I start to, I want to hear myself breathe. So uh, we got the beer from BJ's from previous episode. And also this mom and pop pasta it's pretty is, good, is, is not bad at all, all right? The fish isn't even, yeah, of course it's a little, it's more cooked. But they got sauce on it. But it's great. Um, Like it's not like. Super dry. It's it's great. This whole thing is is great, um, and so I like to hear myself breathe. So I'm going. Hum, that, hum, do you think you're dying? 
I just like, I feel my chest so heavy that I'm kind of like making sure that I'm okay. So I'm going, hmm. Hmm. We, it was when we we talked about on the podcast when we went to that one Thai restaurant, King Khan, LA. King Khan, yeah. And then I had to chill out because we Ubered. So I had to chill out for like an hour a little bit before I could get so I'm just watching this wall on the floor. <laughs> There's only a few times that we've ever well actually you've probably seen me the most drunk ever mm-hmm. compared to anybody else in multiple times. <laughs> Because, like, I drink really fast and I eat fast. Yeah, I know. Like, whenever we film um, When Foodie Calls and Food Shit, I, like, get us both a drink. And I'm, like, just, I sip in my eye. I turn around. I hear, (laughs) fucking bottom of the cup. I'm, like, yeah. You already, oh, okay, chill out. His fucking face is red. He's sweaty. (laughs) I'm, like, we've been here 10 minutes, dog. (laughs) (laughs) That's so true. (laughs) <laughs> what I'm finding out is not that I can't handle alcohol. I drink it way too fast. <laughs> yeah, man. You got to pace yourself, bro. Sometimes it's like, I think what I fuck up too is when I get a drink and I'm thirsty, it quenches my thirst really ah, yeah, well. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn, this is good. So I just fucking go at it. But it's like, if I do it that way, three drinks in, I'm blasted. Yeah. Because there's no food in my system. And I just put down like three or four shots down my gullet. Yeah. Fucking gullet phase. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, here's the thing about me, too. I also, I don't know if you've, you've never heard this from me, but um, I actually, uh, when I'm really sleepy, I, I sleep talk as well when I'm trying to stay awake. Oh. Um, and uh, I just start to, like, say nonsense. And also because what happens is I start to dream. And because I'm trying to stay awake, I start to vocalize what I see in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So... Like, specific, I'll give you a specific example. One time, this was high school. I was chilling with my boy Sam. My, he was in my room, but we were just, like, talking. And I was trying to stay awake because he was telling me a very, like, emotional story about his dad. Like, he's, like, you know, you know, just being very vulnerable with me, talking to, about his relationship with his, with his dad. But I'm, like, trying to stay awake. I'm so tired. So I start dreaming um, that he's, like, showing me his pool or some shit, okay? And... So, but I'm trying to, like, talk to him because I know this is an important conversation. So in the middle of him, like, venting to me, I'm like, so how long have you had your pool? And then immediately I realized, like, yo, that shit, what the fuck did I just say? So I snap out of it. He looks at me. He's like, what? And I'm like, oh, man, I don't, I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? So my brain kind of does that. I say all that to say. I did that to Veda the other day and I didn't know because I was so tired, bro. Like I was upstairs playing with Veda and she was very like wanting to interact. Like normally when we're upstairs bouncing around, I can be chilling and she'll just kind of like be running around sometimes. But today, for some reason, the day when I was super sleepy, she's like wanting to be in my face. So there's a couple times I dozed off on her and I just see her like holding like daddy. The kitty, daddy. And I'm like, oh, hey, baby, yes, yes, the kitty's so pretty, right? So at one point, I knock the fuck out. I wake up to her, like, holding these letters. She's like, the H, daddy, H. I'm like, yes, mama, that's an H. And she goes, daddy, why did you say car? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you were just rambling. I was just rambling. I was like, oh, babe, did I say car? She's like, yes. And you said, Veda. Why you say Veda? And I was like, oh my God, I was sleep talking to her and I that, didn't even know. Oh, you know, this actually brings up this very interesting thing. So, <laughs> Marilyn and I got into a, a, a little argument. It's mm-hmm. been a while. Let me ask you this. <laughs> it was the other night. So, I'm, I'm doing my farming shit, right? I went to go plant stuff. I had to do all this stuff. Got back home like at 12. Yeah. I'm tired. She's been working all night. Now, she's been working on stuff in her work world, right, that I find very boring and I don't care about. Mm -hmm. Now, she's – I'm – I have to – even though I did been doing all this farming shit all day, at the end of the day, I still got to get my work done. So I'm, you know, doing work and shit and I'm laying in bed and doing my work. Mm -hmm. And she's like, can you come in here for a second? I'm like, yeah, what's up? And she's like, I want you to – I've been working on stuff at work. I want to tell you about the stuff I've been working on. Now, I know this shit is boring as fuck. <laughs> she does a lot of high-level producing Excel sheet shit mm. and equations. And I'm sitting there like, hey, I'm, I'm still working. I still have stuff to do. She goes, I just need you to come here so I need to tell you what I'm working on. And I sit there and I'm standing there. And, you know, we got ADHD. <laughs> when things are boring, mm-hmm. dog, it is hard. It feels 
like somebody is punching me with their boringness <laughs> in my fucking face. <laughs> And it's 12 a.m. I'm uh -huh. standing there. And she's like going, okay, so when you play the equations, and I'm just like, I don't understand this stuff. She goes, I don't need you to understand. I'm just going to tell you this stuff. And I'm like, I have work to do. I'm tired. It's 12. Why, though? Why does she want to tell you stuff that you don't get? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm here like, she goes, I just need to tell you this because I, I need to explain to you what I'm doing. And I'm like. I want you to know right now, I want to die. <laughs> I was like, I want to fucking die. <laughs> like you, I was like, first of all, my brain, the way it works, I want to understand something. Uh -huh. So when you tell me these things, I don't understand. It starts to frustrate me. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, well, you're frustrating me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a woman who's asking me for a favor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I go into the room and I'm pissed. I'm just like sitting there. And then she comes to the room. She goes, you know, if it's really that hard to give... 30 seconds of your time to me, just let me know. Yeah. And then I'll never ask you anything again. <laughs> oh, she's already doing the Asian mom thing. Bro, that <coughs> triggered me. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, kill them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, that's not how you respond to me <laughs> like that. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm mm -hmm. like, it's 12 a.m. Yeah. You're telling me something I don't understand. She goes, it was only 30 seconds. Well, that 30 seconds <laughs> felt like 4 million years. <laughs> and I fucking hated it. And so... <laughs> At, at night, I just reached out my hand. I was like, here, hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to listen to your stupid shit. <laughs> and I, I was like, I can't promise you I'll stay still. I can't mm. promise you I'll look at what you're doing, but I'll stand there. She goes, I don't want it. <laughs> she just goes, oh, my, God. No compromise, man. <laughs> no compromise. Well, it was your attitude, David. Well, look, speaking of 30 <laughs> seconds, that feels like forever. We're going to take a break <laughs> while you guys listen to some ads. <laughs> <laughs> What does Korean sound like to you? Imitate it. Uh, That's what it sounds like to me too. hundred percent. How about Thai? What does Thai sound like to you? Huh? <laughs> I'm Lady Boy. <laughs> I'm Lady Boy. Really? Yeah. Somebody wrote a comment once. I'm like, bro, I signed up for YouTube premium so why not lose the ads? And you got integrated ads in your video? I'm like, dog, I got bills to pay. Help me out. Yeah, we finessed them out of that. Ha yeah. ha. Sucks for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I got kids, goddammit. Yeah, help All us. Right? Thank you so much. Thank don't, you for this. Don't you know the more ads you hear from me, the more I can feed my babies what they want. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All you got to, guys, you can literally double tap your screen on the right side and fast forward through that shit. All right. So just or relax. just buy the sponsors <laughs> or, or yeah, look, we got discounts for you guys. So just, you know, just 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 click the links. man. Plus, a lot of the stuff that we sponsor, I actually like a lot of it. It's good shit. Yeah, it's actually really dope shit. Yeah, they, I got that little electric bike that I had. You know what's so funny? I was uh, driving the – so we got sponsored by this company called Electric, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever, free sponsor. It's not, I don't know if they're sponsoring this one or not. I don't care. <laughs> Fucking fun little bike. Here's mm -hmm. the thing, though. When you're 218 pounds <laughs> on this cute little bike, you look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> and this dude, when I was just riding around, I was testing it around, this guy was like, hey, yo, David, so – I was like, yeah, man, that's a cute little bike. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that shit fucking fucked me up, dog. <laughs> but I didn't care because I was going 20 miles an hour. Should have pulled your butt out. Oh, yeah. It's like, you like this? Dude? <laughs> you like this sweet little mochi buns? You little fucking slut? Speaking of my kids, dog, um, fuck it. Um, Pass me that cilantro rice. The other day. Oh, yes. Get some. Get some. I'm trying to I'm trying to not eat too much because uh, we got the burritos in the next episode. Oh, not me. You know. Me. <laughs> uh, the other day, dog. Um, it's so interesting to see how the brain of a three-year-old, three-year-old works, right? Because <gasps> she's three. She's three. Yeah, she's right. officially that three. Just blew my fucking mind right now. And you just had a birthday too. Oh, hey, oh yeah. Happy oh, birthday. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she just turned three. Yeah, uh, a few weeks ago, and um, like February nineteenth to be exact, or sixteenth. Whoops. And um, and you know her brain is like just. Next level now, right? It will, it already was next level. Now it's like, you know, she understands so much, right? Even more so than before. But it's interesting to see, and I mind you, we've always kind of raised her so far to be like, hey, you know, tell us how you feel, like your wants and needs and emotions and all that shit, right? So the other day, I, it's, it's 6.30 in the morning. 
I, you know, I, um, we, she's waking up for the day and I go in there to like wake her up like, good morning, baby girl. I'm going to like pick her up out of the crib and shit, you know, positive vibes. <laughs> I open the door, dog. She's sleepily, you know, and I'm in like just pajamas. I sleep in just like pajamas. I'm shirtless and like I'll throw a beanie on sometimes like just to, you know, keep my hair in order. I walk in. Good morning, baby girl. She, she sleepily leans over. She goes, daddy, I want you to put a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? And I'm like, Bro, that would have fucked up my whole day. <laughs> and that's the thing. Rick was like, You didn't ask why. I was like, Nah, man. I just laughed and did it. I said, like, Okay, baby. <laughs> so that's why you're not eating this rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my my daughter my daughter's fat shaming me. She's disgusted with my body. I have two dads. What do you mean? I got skinny daddy and fat daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why you have boobies like mommy? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for whatever reason. She picks up this one against daddy. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? For whatever reason, she wanted me to put a shirt on. I was like, oh, okay, baby. I put the shirt on and that was it, you know? All right, baby, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you little stupid bitch. I'm I trying, I'm trying, baby girl. You don't hear me in the backyard working out? Goddamn. No, that's hella funny, man. Yeah, man. And it's like, I never even really found out why, but. I didn't know babies could just have preferences like that. They have so many preferences, dog. Veda specifically, yeah, I think we gave her too many options. Like, we're constantly giving her options. Hey, mama, you want rice or you want noodles for, for dinner, blah, blah, blah. You want this or that? Or what do you want to do? What do you want to wear today? Blah, blah, blah. You know, so she's always kind of expressing her, 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 thoughts. her thoughts and what she wants. And, you know. Has she lied yet? Oh, yes. So trippy thing. I was yeah. hanging out with my friend's kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these two kids are very different, mm -hmm. right? One of them's. One might look at this child and think he's a little crazy, but he's just excitable, yeah. you know? But one thing I really like about that kid is that even though he might be hard to handle, the kid is very honest mm -hmm. and he's very receptive to adults and authority, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, he might run around, blah, blah, but you're like, hey, stop that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. He goes, okay, mm -hmm. gets it, moves mm -hmm. on. Though you do have to correct him multiple times, it's okay. Yeah. So this kid has never lied. And he's like, what, seven, eight years old now? What? He doesn't lie. He's very fucking honest, bro. Which is crazy. But the other kid mm -hmm. was like three or four. Mm -hmm. I'm a little motherfucker. <laughs> caught this motherfucker lying, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh. And I was like talking to the parents. I was like, did she just lie? Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah. We don't know how to deal with this because our older kid doesn't lie. So that's the first time they saw it. And I was like, what the fuck? How do you? What did they learn this? Oh, the one is a boy. One is a boy. The other one's a girl. Yeah, there it is, right there. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Bitches be lying. In, their, in their DNA. <laughs> I was like, interesting, <laughs> dude. Because nah. she didn't want to finish her food. And so it was something small, mm -hmm. right? But it was just like, they're like, oh, did you finish lunch? And But she covered her food with the plate. She goes, yes, I did. And I was like, oh, yeah. she fucking lied. Beta is three years old. And she, and for some reason, of course, just like all of us as kids, we do not like to brush our teeth, right? Mm. So one morning i wasn't sure if chia had already brushed veda's teeth or not you know i was like hey mama uh did mommy brush your teeth already she's like yeah i was like she did and i had a feeling that she didn't she's like yes i was like i'm gonna smell your breath okay and i smelled her breath and i was like baby girl did you lie she's like yes <laughs> <laughs> she was honest about the lying yeah, though Yes. I'm like, all right, mama. Okay, well, let's brush your teeth. No, but yeah, man, she knows how to lie. I don't really know how. I mean, I guess. Is it because they're smarter and they're trying to get their way? Maybe. All right. I don't know, man. But when I was a kid, I mean, we all lied as kids, but mm -hmm. dude, my dad used to fuck me up if I lied. <laughs> Which kind of fucked me up because he didn't teach me the balance of when to speak up about the things you think about and when you shouldn't. Mm. Because there's this looming fear. And I'm going to get fucked up in the back of my head. Uh -huh. So you used to, you know, socially, you get fucked like that. Because uh -huh. now it's just like you kind of say things that you don't have to say mm. because you're scared of lying and being dishonest. Mm. And Mario's the one who taught me like, hey, sometimes nobody fucking cares, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to stop that shit. Like, some people are just a lot more sensitive than you. I'm like, look, my dad told me <laughs> that as long as you're honest, you can live with yourself. But then it was like, sometimes you don't have to, man. You got to put a, just a little a little sugar on it, dog, you know? 
like like I've told like I tell my wife and like you tell your wife, it's not about what you say, it's how you say it, you know? And sometimes your energy is just a little aggressive. Uh, I get it. You're a hot shot comedian, but sometimes, you know, you got to turn it off, right? Okay. This Z-less, cele- Z-less celebrity status gets to my head sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> um, I'm actually, you know how I told you Super Ego and them, they've been doing this little comedy tour, right? Oh, yeah. And um, they've been asking me for like the past like few weeks. PK, too. He's like, hey, man, let me know if you want to like pull up. You should pull up and do a little guest spot. And I'm like... <sighs> I don't know, man. I've been jotting shit down, but, like, I don't know if I feel like doing that yet. But I was like, maybe I'll pop in and do a little five minutes or whatever, right? Just do it for fun. And then, look, there are so many YouTubers who do stand-up now that mm-hmm. are so bad. Yeah. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, they're fucking bad. But just because they have a following, people are like, you're so great. Yeah. I'm not saying any names. <laughs> so there's one female YouTuber who's doing a lot of stand-up now. Mm-hmm. She was at a club. And you look at her clips online, and there's mm. people laughing, but this is her fans. Yeah. <clears throat> but this, she was at a club where she was doing a spot. Mm. Bro, not a single person laughed. Ha! Literally saw her manager do this in the corner. Oh, God. <laughs> like that. And this girl has sold out venues, but it's to her crowd only. Of course. But when she does it into a crowd of people, and by, I saw her twice. She mm. just happened to pop in. Twice. Legit people rolling their eyes. It's like, ah. what the fuck are you doing on stage? So this is what I'm excited about, okay? Because um, there's a show on Sunday, a sold-out show in Oxnard, right? And I kind of, and and that's what I want to avoid. Like, I didn't want to, that's why I haven't done stand-up. I, I didn't want to do a show where people were laughing just because they fuck with me. They've sold out their show without anybody knowing I'm going to be there. So I was like, Eric hit me up randomly. He's like, Let's hey, man, we, we got you into the Oxnard show. And I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pull up, do a little last minute set that I'm going to throw together real quick to a crowd that like maybe doesn't fuck with me, right? So I'm kind of excited to try it out, you know? I feel like what's going to happen is like, let's say, in the event people don't laugh the way you think that they should laugh, mm-hmm. it's going to make you want to go again and rework it. Because mm. that's what happens. It's like... Oh, this joke is funny, yeah. but I delivered it weird. Mm-hmm. Let me go back and work it, and you redo the joke. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's how it's supposed to be. For sure. Because a lot of the times, like, concepts are funny, but it's just like, ah, the delivery was, fu- something's off of this. I don't know what it is, though. Mm-hmm. You know? It happens a lot. Like, I always see, like, when I saw, um, I saw Bill Burr do his last, it was like Paper Tigers was mm-hmm. his uh, special, but I saw him perform it a couple of times, like, a few of those jokes, and it changed, and it was way better on the special. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and that's why stand-ups do it, right? That's what that was the beauty of it before social media, right? That's why they say put your phones down because a lot of times when they're at these clubs, they're they're working out new material. They're trying to figure out the best way to do it. Even bro, I tell you this: when I was um, I went, I went to a live filming of the Conan O'Brien mm-hmm. uh, show, and um, and remember Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Ooh. Yes. Fucking genius. For me to poop on, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't know they would do this, but they played maybe it was like a 10-minute triumph video. And then from the audience reactions, is they they cut certain bits before it went to air. Mm. So they were like, okay, that joke worked, that joke didn't work. They filmed the whole shit, edited it, showed the audience, and then they cut it for air depending on how we laughed. That's fucking crazy. I was like, damn, I didn't know they did that. That's smart as shit. Yeah. But Triumph the Dog was so fucking genius. <laughs> was so great. He would say some of the most. <clears throat> that's the genius thing about using other things that aren't human mm-hmm. to say the most offensive shit. Yes, yes. That's like what, like what Family Guy, mm-hmm. South Park. Mm-hmm. These aren't real people, so people don't take it personally. Yeah, yeah. Or I was going to say, like, when we watched The Book of Mormon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, The Book yeah. of Mormon is, like, so fucked up. And I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if it would do well as a movie because it's so, like, people would get offended. But I feel yeah. like if they animated it. Different. That would be different. David, so what would your mom say if she was getting honked at and flipped off on the freeway? Number one, my mother doesn't drive because she's scared of driving. <laughs> and number two, my mom is so scared of driving, she has no road rage. Really? She doesn't like starting shit on the road, doesn't like doing any of that. Mm-hmm. But what she will do when she was fighting with my dad and we would be on the freeway, my mom would open the door and threaten to jump out and kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> For all fond trial memory, childhood memories, guys. <laughs> my mom did that so much on the way to church. <laughs> my parents would be arguing, and my dad's like, yeah, you never fucking blah, blah, blah. My mom's like, I'll fucking do it. And she would, like, open the door, and you just, me as a kid, the wind is hitting my face. 
<laughs> He's like, Mom threatened to kill herself again. All right. Oh my God. You just unlocked the fucking memory, bro. <laughs> so one time she did that shit again, right? And the mom got so mad. She got so mad she spit. I don't know what the fuck that shit was about, but she spit out the window. Yeah. But my window was open, so it whapped around and smacked me right oh, in the face. Oh, no. And I was so mad. And they forgot what they were fighting about because they were laughing at me so hard. Oh, look at you. I saved the marriage. You saved dude. the marriage. It went from suicide to spitting on my face, and they got happy after. <laughs> well, now I know in the future, if me, and Cher, if me and she are having a big fight just to spit on my kids. <laughs> we'll be right back. Put on a shirt. Shut up! <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, speaking of speaking of my excited child, one more time. The other day, dog. Now look, like I've said, Veda is is she's so smart, but she's also fucking unpredictable, all right? Mm. She feels a lot of things, she gets very excited, and now she's at a point where she doesn't always know how to express her excitement, okay? We're upstairs playing. And we're having like a cute just moment, chilling. I'm like, baby, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I'm like, right. Her face is right where the mic is, right? I'm like, give me a kiss, babe. I pucker my lips. She goes, boom, headbutts me so hard, dog. I went, ah! Why would she headbutt you? I don't know. And I was like, baby, that really hurt. I'm like, didn't that hurt you? She looks at me, no smile, no emotion. Just shakes her head, no. And I'm like, hey, your kid's going to be on a Netflix documentary <laughs> and she'll be killing people. Talk. That's all I'm saying right now. I don't know. You need to get a headbutt from baby girl because she has daddy's head. I know. <laughs> and that shit fucking hurt, dog. Netflix talking with the girl who killed seven people <laughs> by headbutting them. <laughs> headbutt to death. Every husband she killed with a headbutt. Late, and, then, and then she goes, daddy, are you, are you mad? I'm like, no, I'm not mad, baby girl. Just don't do that again, please. <laughs> I was like, I'm very angry. <laughs> I'm going to headbutt the shit out of you next time, dude. How do you like that? I feel like she'd be unfazed, bro. I think my kids are like next level, man. Dude, your kid, Q, looks like Fat Joe. <laughs> I saw this photo of Fat Joe, <laughs> and then I Photoshopped, removed his mustache. I was like, Q looks like Fat Joe right now. No. The you, smoothest little skin. <laughs> what you should be doing is Photoshopping mustaches on Q. Oh, that's so much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It just, it popped up. It was like a younger photo of Fat Joe, too. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. They look similar right now. Fat Joe looks like a little Asian baby. I didn't even think about that shit. Do you have your kids' names picked out already? Hopefully, I could have a kid. I don't know. But if I, if the fucking loins work, then yes, I will. I'm going to name him. I have no idea. Oh, I, I, I haven't even thought that far. But I want the kid to have a Korean name, though. Oh, Really? What, so what is like a traditional Korean name? I don't know if there's like traditional. I forget how Korean people make Korean names. Mm. But I know my name, I've seen other people with it, right? Mm. There's, a, there's a K-pop star, Korean pop star with my first and last name. Inguk. Yeah, So Inguk. Mm. So Inguk. Yeah, oh, he was, okay. a, he was a, a, the winner of Korea's version of American Idol. Mm. Yeah, and I was like, oh shit, that was my fucking name. That's fucking trippy as shit. I've never had a duplicate of that. Oh, really? Okay. So I, I don't know what I, Korean people out there, what's a common Korean name? Because every Korean person I know has a different name. I've never ran a double of somebody's Korean name. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay, so uh, So is like a super common Korean name, yeah? <clears throat> last names are pretty much the same, and there's only a handful because your last name is based on your clan. I was just going to ask, like, how that works. Yeah, so yeah. it's a part of, so the reason why everybody has the last name Kim mm. is because Kim was the most affluent clan, right? Oh, I see. So there's only, I, I've heard from many old Korean people that half, half the Kims in the world are not even real Kims because people would fake their certificate or whatever because they wanted to fake being a part of this affluent group. It's like a gang? I guess. I don't know. But it's like, you know, it's like if you want to be a part of this royalty or whatever, they would fake 
shit. It's like how everyone throws up uh, blood or crib now, even though they're not really bloods and crips. You yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kim, homie. I'm 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 King King Kim 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 uh set. <laughs> this is too hard to do, man. <laughs> I think I don't know if people actually throw up where it fucking spells out blood. Dog. Yeah, right. I, I don't think that was ever actually a thing. You know? Are there any bloods who watch us <laughs> who can explain this? When you guys, if like let's say a crip was walking down the street, right, and he was like, "What's up, cut? You got a problem?" Or I'm sorry, a broccoli? <laughs> right? Did did they? Do this to, I feel like that's. I don't know if that's. It's definitely not a thing anymore. That yeah. specific spelling out of, of of fingers. You know, yeah. Because you know, you'll see interviews of Bloods. I don't ever see them throw <laughs> yeah. up. Because I feel like the interview would be like, "What's up, Blood? Hold on a second. If, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it, if people are throwing up, it's they're very specific. Like it should that kind of yeah, like yeah, from yeah, they're from yeah. five five six five <laughs> half and seven four seven. Right, right. I don't think anyone really ever spelled out the shit. Have you ever thought about joining a gang when you were younger? <laughs> no, nah, <Like>, never. Really? <laughs> I feel like that was our era, though, where like joining a gang was like in the back of our minds. Like, dude, maybe I should join a gang. I mean, yeah, one of my bestest friends from junior high, when we were in eighth grade, he was always like saying crib shit. You know what I'm saying? He was always like, yeah, nah, nah, I'm a crib, blah, 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 you know. And then when he went to, um, because I went to I went to school in Gardena from like preschool to eighth grade, right? And um, so my boy, he was Samoan and white. He would always say crib shit in eighth grade. And then when he went to Gardena High. Um, all the Samoans there are bloods. Mm -mm. So then he realized, he was like, oh, shit, all my Usos are fucking bloods. So then he came back that summer and was and was saying blood shit. He was like, oh, Pyru this, Pyru that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, you fucking <laughs> hood hopper. No, we were kids, man. Fucking hood hopping little fucking set switching, bitch. We, we were just little babies. We didn't know. Leave him alone. I don't like that shit, dude. I Leave don't like that alone. stuff. No, dude. You don't get the fucking, this boy just showed up. And all blue, everybody's red. Oh shit, I dressed up in the dark. <laughs> oh, I mean blood. <laughs> my bad, blood. He didn't know. We were oh, babies. My God. I always wanted to join a gang, but I was always too scared. But I was always hood adjacent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like everybody around me was in a gang. Yeah. Everybody was like doing their shit. And I would kick it with them, but I just wasn't down for it. It was just too scary, dog. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I see why my boy, because he in his neighborhood. His older homies were Crips. I think maybe that's why he was saying the Crip shit. And then, like, and then when he went to, you know, uh, Gardena, he realized, I was like, oh, shit, okay, never mind. But, you know, I would never really... Dog, I didn't even want to join fraternities when I was in college. I, I also didn't like the... Um, there's the hazing concept, because there's a lot of hazing yeah. in Korean churches. Really? Bro. <laughs> Korean hazing is some of the worst thing on earth in oh, the church a lot of gang members were at church especially a lot of korean gangs well they well, haze you for what though just it's like korean camaraderie especially with boys okay so if you're like a younger classman they would fuck you up mm. they would beat the shit out of you they would do i remember this one guy he had like a limp in his leg i think he had polio <laughs> but he was like in college and i'm like a fucking 12 year old mm. this guy pins me down with his polio leg and then <laughs> he fucking purple nurples me okay you remember the purple nurple? Of course, of course. He does it so bad, my whole chest was purple. Oh, God, purple chest pool. Yeah, and then I went to my parents. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, look what this guy did to me. Like, he's, he's just your young. Don't fucking complain wow. about shit like that. Wow. And young means older, older brother or something? brother or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But the funny shit is, they would punk you so fucking hard. And, like, I was miserable. Yeah. But, mind you, if somebody else would try to punk me, they would stand up and, hey, don't fucking talk to him like that. And I'm mm. like, honestly, I'd rather get beat up by them. <laughs> like, it's a lot nicer over there, dude. <laughs> like, it's fucking terrible, dude. Like, you fucking stood on my chest and you fucking nearly ripped my tits out. Damn, son. Yeah, there's a lot of that shit. I feel like you probably had really squeezable tits, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he titty fucked me for four years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if there's anything that ever made me want to join a frat, it was Revenge of the Nerds. You ever watched Revenge of the Nerds? I don't remember it, but I'm ah. pretty sure I did. So it was all about them, like, you ever watched Monsters University? Yes. It's the exact same plot. Okay, okay. Uh, a group of young outcasts makes their own fraternity and competes with the uh, traditional, like, alpha male frats and beats them in the competition and they become heroes and shit. But I remember just, like, the nerds being so cool. And I'd be like, I want to join up with my own little pack of nerds. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty sure there was, because my brother was in frats. His frat people were really cool, but they mm. were like academic frats, mm, mm. which was kind of cool. Like they just kind of 
hung out, they chilled, they shared notes and all this stuff. Pussy shit. They, they drank and <laughs> fucked bitches. And- <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of cool. I thought that was dope. But yeah. it was the weird, like, frat boy guys who were, like, former football. And I don't know. It was just a weird experience for me in college where I didn't understand why they thought they could talk to people like that. Yeah. You know, everyone gets a little power trip, you know. And, look, I get it. Look, college, I think— you really do get the most out of college if you join clubs. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Join a fr- I mean, look, if, if you if you want to, if you're not sure how to make friends and a frat is the way for you, because I know hazing is kind of, I don't even know if it's a thing anymore, you know what I'm saying? But They still do that shit. Yeah, for sure, but secretly, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, one of the things I feel like I might even regret about college is that I didn't join more, like, clubs. Yeah, Because I think that's how regret. you really get the full experience, you know what I'm saying? Make lifelong bonds and shit. But for me, I feel like I already got my lifelong homies. I'm good. I don't I don't really need to do all that, right? I do feel like maybe if I went to some more, like, joined some more clubs and went to more college parties, I would have hooked up more. Clubs were the biggest thing for that, right? I thought mm-hmm. clubs were really dope. Like, mm-hmm. I would always go to, like, other friends, like, club events. Mm-hmm. And it was the frat aspect without the stupid bravado. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's all this shit for? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why don't y'all just be a club? Yeah, like, it's the true. same shit. And, but that's a lot of people would do that because they would go to parties, hook up, and it was super fun. Mm-hmm. And I definitely wish I would have done that more too. But I hated college, so. I dropped out. Same here. We're fun. both dropouts. And look at us now. Eating fish and pasta on our own little podcast. Hey, look, if you're a frat out there and you found what I said very offensive, hey, your experience could have been different. Yeah. Right? Look. We saw it as paying for friends. Maybe y'all made lifelong friends and you feel like it was yeah. worth it. Maybe you have a little family. That just wasn't how we saw it. Um, good on you. Is what it is, loser. Um, <laughs> thanks, you guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching uh, this uh, dudes behind the foods. This podcast is about to you by this fortune and this guy over here with a smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was a uh, like a like a comment and a subscribe and uh, we'll uh, yashmash. Yashmash. Thanks. Yo, it's the dudes behind the food. Dudes.